Hey guys, it's Matt here, and um, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I, I think this is possibly one of the best games out there on YouTube. Pretty sure it's somewhere around 125 and 22, I think. But that's with like a couple quad sprays here and there, and um, this commentary definitely isn't going to do justice to the gameplay, because this is some pretty uh, good gameplay. Um, what's it called? I speed up uh, quite a bit because I needed to fit into YouTube's time limit, which I absolutely hate. So, um, basically, I was talk I was trying to do a live commentary on uh, some zombies, and um, one of the things I started talking about was boobies, so I'm going to keep talking about them. Boobs. Which would you rather have? Firm C's, not-so-firm B's, really, really firm B's. Like, I, I think I'd have to go with the firm C's. Because firm C's are fucking perfect. They're not too big, they're not too small, they're just the right to play with, right? And another question. Why, um... Why don't girls just let us stick it in their butt? Come on. Come on. Just let us. Please. For me. Um, <laughs> um I personally have, um, A's. I am a man, but I have breasts, which is, which is odd, to say the least. <laughs> um, my girlfriend, um, has firm C's. I, I enjoy them. I'm not gonna talk too much about that, because her brother might watch this video. But I enjoy them very thoroughly. And I'm gonna try to convince her to do a dual commentary with me, but I don't think she will. What else is there? Hmm. Jessica Alba or Megan Fox? See, I, I, I see Jessica Alba as more like the... More like the kind of cute um, feeling, right? The cute girl next door. But Megan Fox, on the other hand, is just sexy. She's the kind that I would want one night stand with. While Jessica Alba, on the other hand, I would most likely just want to, like, marry her. She's a, She's very beautiful. Selena Gomez or Miley Cyrus, you ask? I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go with Selena Gomez. Even though a lot of girls do not like her, she is very good looking. I mean, very good looking. Turned on! This is probably gonna be off sync, but I'm not too fussed with that. <laughs> Stupid guy, you can't kill me. I have a suppressed commando and host. <laughs> Tricks are for kids. I was playing with Only Use Me Blade the other day, and, um, and, uh, with PJ and everybody, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Blade, kind of a douche. Not gonna lie, he's not my favorite commentator. He can be a major asshole. <laughs> not to slander other commentators, but I have nothing against him, it's just he wasn't, he wasn't that nice to me. I, I... This um, in no way represents Connor and, and or um, anybody else that watches this video and or promotes it. But, like, he just wasn't that nice. He was like, I'm not even going to go into it because that's just slander. Um, this gameplay still gets me. It's beautiful. Like, this is textbook raping. Accidental, uh, slow motion there. Fast forward. Super fast mode. Ah. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Obviously Jesus, I highly suggest you do. He's very philosophical. And one of the things that he brings up is, um, it's very true. Like, it's will versus, it's, um, complete will versus non-complete will. Complete will is when you have, like, all the ability to do everything. Like, um, people just say, why don't you do that? Like, you have the, if you have the will, you can do it, right? But that isn't necessarily true. We can do what our mind, um, set does, right? So I'm talking, like, nature versus nurture. Um, 
nature being the fact that there's these chemicals in our brain that will not allow us to do certain stuff. Um, I.e., like, if you're a lazy person, you're going to be a lazy person. Like, no matter how much you want to stop being lazy, pretty sure it's going to be really hard for you. But then again, like, saying, I want to get that glass of water, that, that's more on, um, that's less, um, controlled willpower, uh, per se. Um, what else? I can't really explain that well. Um, if you want me to do a philosophical commenta commentary, I cannot speak right now. If you want me to do a philosophical commentary, um, I will be more than inclined to do that for you guys. So you are the best 350 pals I've ever had in my life. Um, <laughs> I sound like such an idiot right now. I'm pretty sure everybody in my house is laughing at me. Um, another thing is, is the Matrix, were they onto something? This quad. Um, I have no way of knowing any of you actually exist, right? I know that I exist because I can think. But I can't think for you. I can only think for myself, right? So... Basically, what I'm getting at is, you might all be figments of my imagination, right? Which kind of sucks. Another thing that sucks is life. Life. The fact that, I'm sorry for going off on a depressing rant. I'm just um, expressing several viewpoints. But um, if you think about it, nothing that we do can change the grand total of things. We are just a bit of stardust that magically came together. That's all we are, stardust. Humans, stardust. Right? We're nothing more, nothing less. I'm pretty sure I got a triple spray here. Woohoo! Ooh, double kill! Um... Wow. 12 minute long commentary. If you can sit through this, I, I, I'm going to give you a pat on the back. I'm going to give you a virtual high five. If you can see me, put your hands up in the air sometimes and scream AO. Would you be mad and troll me if I did a Justin Bieber commentary? I mean, not a Justin Bieber commentary, but a Justin Bieber montage? So I was thinking of doing that. I was like, baby, baby, baby. And each time he says baby, I was, or her, if you're that big of a troll, each time that um, he and or she says baby, I sync it up with a shot. And then the O would be the fanboy, because I have one of those with a quad that I got. Which was very, very surprising. Black Ops. I'm sorry for this verbal diarrhea, but um, Black Ops is, is not that fun. I, I very strongly believe that they did something to nerf the lag and, like, increase the amount of lags with people that, um, that have good connections to balance it with people that don't. Because, like, or maybe it was the feeder mode, um, taking up too much bandwidth or something, um, something or other along those lines. But, like, this game, this game really is not fun to me. I would much rather play World at War. World at War, in my opinion, was the best Call of Duty. You know why? Actually, I'm not even sure why. I just, I love the feeling of the weapons, the fluidity. Even the drunk MP40 wasn't that bad. I could still quickscope the fuckers. The sniper rifles were perfect in that game, aside from the um, wonky hit detection. And, and the bad part is, this, this game actually inherited a that wonky hit detection and it's kind of bad and makes me pissed off because why would they use this um an upgraded model i mean a modified world of war engine which wasn't that great if they could have just used the modern warfare 2 engine right the modern warfare 2 engine was beautiful and if you don't know what an engine is it's basically like the core components of a of a game so it would kind of be like um how it plays and stuff, and then uh, you program a game after the engine, right? Like, Unreal Engine is one of the most um, famous engines because 
it's just all around. It was really revolutionary for the graphics and stuff, and I'm I'm on the nerd tangent. I'm very sorry. Oh, what else to talk about? There's this girl that I love. No, I don't actually love her. I'm <laughs> that girl. If you if you haven't watched my zombies live commentary, um, there's this girl named Sabrina Candelero. Oh shit, I'm not supposed to say the name. But um, anyways, I asked her to marry me in front of in front of her entire class, wearing a full suit with a like a tuxedo with a rose, a heart balloon, and a giant fake plastic ring that could fit around someone's wrist rather than a finger. I went up to her in front of her science class, and I was like, my friend Sam a fool to think that you're the one for me. I guess I'm just a sucker for love. Oh. And I just said a uh, bunch of Justin Bieber lyrics, because um, she's a major fan of him, because she's like 10. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I did that, and then I went up to her, got down on one knee, and I was like, Sabrina, will you marry me? And her face just lit up like the sky it was the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life she went so red and if you guys knew like she's a hardcore catholic most goody goody girl i've ever met in my life like i i i it would be like one of those girls that you, you wouldn't want to have sex with you just want to hug hug vigorously and if you're watching this Sabrina, i'm sorry <laughs> Oh, I'm such an idiot. Um, but she's just a cutie all around, and I, I kind of felt bad after doing it. And um, I'm I'm not gonna upload it to YouTube, even though I did film it for that specific reason. Cujo's woo woo woo. Um, because I just really don't want her to have to go through that embarrassing moment again. Like I was talking to most of the girls, and they were like, "Yeah, I'd probably cry if a guy did that to me." And I was like, "Yeah." I'd cry if a guy did that to me, too. <laughs> so, um, I apologize about the dazzle quality, and if you're still watching this, I am very proud of you. High five. Watch. So, um, yeah. That's basically all I have to talk about. I'm very proud of Wings of Redemption for doing this diet. Um, I made it through a 12-minute commentary without very long pauses. I've come a long way from doing this. I've... Like this video if you want me to upload. Dislike it if you don't. And if you don't watch this, I can't really say much because you won't be watching it. <laughs> so, um, I think I'm going to end this off on a good note. Have a fantastic night. Okay, have yourself a good night. Bye. And as usual, have a nice day. <laughs>